No! Please! Stop! 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 This is what it looks like when the US government force feeds 44 detainees on hunger strike in Guantanamo Bay. They endure this for up to two hours twice a day. Stop! That's just me. Please stop. I can't do it. This standard operating procedure was leaked in this 30 page document called the Medical Management of Detainees on Hunger Strike. It outlines the brutal and dehumanizing experience step by step. The late great Christopher Hitchens underwent waterboarding on camera in 2008. The practice had already stopped by then, but it helped stigmatize the controversial torture technique. Now, Yasin Bey, aka rapper Mos Def, has done the same, revealing what detainees in the facility undergo if they miss nine consecutive meals or if their weight drops under 85% of ideal body mass. I really, I really couldn't, I really couldn't take it. Shackled to a restraint chair, detainees are offered one last chance to eat voluntarily. A mask is then fitted to stop biting and spitting before being administered a range of drugs, including a sedative whose long-term use has been known to cause an irreversible brain disorder. A 61 centimetre tube is then inserted down the nostrils, causing gagging and restricting breathing, delivering a dietary supplement directly into the stomach. Afterwards, they're monitored. If they vomit, it's back to the chair. The US says it's respecting Ramadan, which started yesterday by not force feeding detainees at night, and that they have a duty of care to not allow prisoners to harm themselves. But it's a situation that could have been avoided if the US had actually released those prisoners who were cleared to leave over three years ago. The World Medical Association calls force feeding inhuman, unethical and unjustified. Detainees have said they have never experienced such pain before. For his part, President Obama has condemned the practice. Where we are force-feeding detainees who are hold, being held on a hunger strike. Is this who we are? Is that the America we want to leave our children? Our sense of justice is stronger than that. But while Mostef's video may create awareness about the controversial practice, just today in the US, a judge ruled that only President Obama has the power to intervene and stop force-feeding for good.